What's up? I'm Ryan. I wanted to make a video about a more generalized version of a conversation that I feel is happening right now on social media around artful fashion design, functionality, sustainability, etc. I don't really honestly have an interest on this platform in talking in detail about any specific garment or social media trends because I don't want to be like an internet commentator in that way on this platform like i'm thinking of making a patreon and i would love to be able to talk about things as they happen but i do want to make this platform something that people can access years from now and find value in the videos about and not just like fleeting news articles so i read a study on expressive characteristics of conceptual art and fashion um and i'll link the academic article and everything below but i read this and then at the exact same time this viral video started circulating around a popular leather belt with velcro on it and people were discussing like the supposed lack of functionality of the garment um the price point the construction of the garment if you're going to get a luxury product maybe it is just something that stands out and makes you really happy because even if you use it every day it's a non-necessity hence it being a luxury. I think my point is that even though it is a ready-to-wear produced item, it is still a luxury good. It is also a thousand dollars and it's a leather mini skirt. It doesn't hold anyone back from being able to get dressed if they just do not access this item or if they access it while acknowledging the constraints of the item and find a function for it in their lives as a luxury non-necessity fashion item my perception was never that this needed to be an everyday wearable skirt but that when i saw it on the runway i thought if they were going to put this into production this was going to be like a show-stopping statement moment which brings me to my next point which is about functionality a lot of people were unhappy with the fact that it feels and seems not the most functional piece but my perception was they're making me lose my train of thought because they're screaming in the hallway. My perception was, and um, Alexandra Hildreth actually uh, referenced this in um, a TikTok, I, I pointed out that I don't really know that everybody would have that same perspective if it were more flamboyant and ostentatious and had many more appendages on it or sought to comment on some larger philosophical concept or social construct that's happening right now. Like if it was that kind of a piece, people would, I think, be a lot more ready to re receive it. They feel like because it's simple, because it's not saying anything larger, it's not okay that it isn't super functional in an everyday wearable garment. But I'm like, but what if it, you know, were more grand? I really doubt that people would be talking about the lack of functionality, especially in the high fashion uh, online spaces where people demand more and more glitz and glamour, where people are constantly tweeting about how they wish that things were like the 90s with the spectacle and the glitz and glamour on the runway and uh, the excitement and the production and the theatrics. Then think about how people received the Caperni dress. They're like, well, that's not functional and she can't really wear that anywhere else. It's like, I don't know. I just think simplicity is something that people feel challenged by and they think that if something is minimal or simple, it maybe lacks value as far as art and communication and impact and resonance. Um, and so they, they feel like, okay, well then it has to be uh, really <laughs> have this like really utilitarian like focus and emphasis, which I just don't agree with. And so I wanted to read this quote that I really liked from the article, it says, the expression method of conceptual art goes beyond the limitations of popular universality or usefulness of fashion and presents fashion and more conceptual and ideal values. So it expands the boundaries of art by rejecting the aesthetic essence of representation. Um, and on Chelan and Margella, it says, they maximize concept and artistry inherent in the works. Like I think about really like cumbersome, large blobby clothes. I'll try to put some designers on the screen and some independent designers work that are, that are really, really crazy and kooky and only wearable in certain contexts and not the most functional thing. They're not everyday work where even in a nightlife context, it may be better for pictures standing still or being in the club looking sexy rather than like doing a cartwheel in them. But we, again, we find value because of the what we perceive as like the design that goes into them but the intention i think behind the 
the skirt that everybody's really upset about was its simplicity, was its ability to make a statement, was its ability to remind you of something uh, familiar, like a belt skirt. And the, the comedy and like joy and camp of looking like a belt because it's so short and it's such a small mini skirt, especially with the cultural context of bringing back Y2K, early 2000s and mid 2000s fashion. I don't think the intention was for it to be this, you know, gigantic hoop skirt, <laughs> a la, you know, a past century. I think the intention was like the simplicity of it and I think that that's something that we can value. Okay yeah so then the page says that Hussein Chilean uses props that do not fit the attribute of fashion and expresses symbolic signs and images that maintain visual richness and I think that that's definitely the case and I think of Hussein Chilean's ready-to-wear pieces which can be really experimental especially with um, the collaborative work that he does with sportswear brands but I do think that there is some value in and cultural resonance and like the value of that in making pieces in a luxury context that are aren't there just to be clothes and I think that that's fun and cool and I think that this goes back to the conversation I said I brought up on Twitter about how there's this like ongoing discussion is fashion art can fashion be art or because it goes into production and is sold to be used as a commodity is it exclusively just the business of fashion and um I do think that um, as someone who wears some Comme de Gaston pieces, that there are some of the larger like, like politically associated and like culturally and socially and gender associated like garments from Comme de Gaston that are really big, like the lumps and bumps, body meets dress, spring 1997 dress, and like the reiterations of that dress that are resold on Essence every single season in um, the private sale and the sale. I never see people saying like, that's not something that you could easily wear. That's something that would make it difficult to sit down in. That's something that would make it uncomfortable to be in an office place in or even in a nightlife context in what if people bump into you what if it you know makes it so that you have to sit in an awkward adjusted way and I think again that just goes back to our perceptions of like artfulness which reminds me of um, an article I'm gonna try to link it or put it on the screen that I read about how when people go to art museums that do fashion based exhibitions they first of all they talk more <laughs> and they treat it like they're in a department store like they're shopping rather than they're looking at like art and the value and beauty of like design because a lot of people don't know a lot about um like fashion design and sewing and pattern making and draping techniques and things like that so they interact with fashion completely different than they do conventional art but also when they go into these environments they are expecting like kooky campy or even I forgot the word they used but it was so apt I'll, I'll put it on the screen but like this specific kind of you know artful fashion like the conventional forms of like artful fashion that we think of so they see Vivian or they expect Vivian Westwood they see Armani even though Armani is like the genius of and like revolutionized fashion design their brain goes immediately to like why isn't it Vivian Westwood why isn't it Betsy Johnson why isn't it Comme des Garçons why isn't it Hussein Chalane or Margiela artisanal collection and things like that and it comes from I think the fact that people don't know a lot of about fashion design which makes sense where would you learn you know the difference between like beautiful amazing stitching or like normal stitching you know what I mean you don't really get taught that in the same way that you do like basic principles of art in like elementary school middle school and even like high school requirements and things like that but it's just like beyond that I think it's just that people don't see the conventions of design like simplicity and how difficult it can be to make a simple garment and fashion or construction and closures like because people don't value those things they don't see it as artful so they see like this should be functional especially like I said when things are more simple so I think that that was kind of one of the main challenges in the public's perception of the skirt and um a lot of other like <laughs> ways that people receive high fashion and ready to wear pieces that you know aren't so typically you know functional it, there's value in seeing those kinds of things um partly because it'll expand and challenge the way that you think about everyday problem resolution, which is what I say is like my priority when it comes to fashion design. It can change the way that people think about things when you see something unconventional. And I think fashion is the best way to present that to people because they don't really have a choice. They're kind of beholden to it. When you're wearing something weird, like you don't have to go to an art gallery to see somebody wearing something weird. If you work with somebody in your office and they wear something weird to work, now you get to see things can be done a different way. So you're like forced to think about it. And I don't want fashion to limit itself to functionality um, and like that form of like minimal resolution in our lives because then again it just it makes me feel like people can't see things that you don't always think of I also think about like art installations I'm gonna try to put the installation that I'm thinking of um, on the screen but it's like the floral one that opens up and people are inside it and they pour water uh, or like sap in the bottom of it 
And I love that and I thought that was so beautiful and my first thought was like how do they clean that up? How long does the installation run? How many times can they perform that again? Is it a one-time thing where you have to see it happen? And then what happens to the piece? Is it discarded? What is the longevity of it? Which again brings me to Isabel and Dryson's work who I talked about on live and on um, TikTok several times before but it's, they're an artist and they make this really really cool sculptural work that is like almost autonomous and it kind of creates and constructs itself and it's con connected to like electronic like pulses and things like that that like pump sweat and like ooze things out of it so the the art almost has like a mind of its own and is able to control itself and what it constructs itself as and i, I think it like encourages us to think about like the longevity of art as it exists in installations the longevity of art installations in general over time throughout history like 100 years from now what's tea um how long it should stay there what happens to it and what becomes of it um and also just like our connection with like self-operant you know art works and like works and things like that and I'm like what is the negativity of thinking about something that can have resonance and impact people and like have a lasting impact on people as far as reconsidering problem resolution interacting with our reality seeing things differently why would we want to limit that because of a lack of functionality like if we only looked at art and creative expressions as like this has to be functional this has to be easily cleaned up this has to be easily resolved I don't think that we would think very critically or intelligently or creatively I think it would limit and stifle creation and creativity so I don't want that even in ready to wear mass-produced pieces and I don't even think that that piece is very mass-produced another aspect of that though which goes back to what I was saying about people expecting to see Vivian Westwood rather than Armani is the, the, the consideration about the closure. The, the skirt in question uses a Velcro closure and I just wanted to say like I have no desire to defend any specific brands as if I know the backgrounds of their like production process but I did just want to say fashion design is not as simple as um, seeing it based on your personal experiences and I think that that goes into the massive disregard people have for fashion design techniques, pattern making, math, science, and all aspects of making clothes um, and the relationship people have with clothes. Like we all get dressed, we all wear clothes every day. Just because you wear clothes every day doesn't mean you know how to construct garments and I think that there is value. Vanessa made a really good point that like there is value in having outsiders comment on things that they don't know about. The assumption that fashion design construction is easily resolvable especially as someone who's like not interacting with like the weight of the, the garment or the um construction and shape and mathematics that go into the garment it's like because people don't see fashion as a real form of like art or something that requires technique fashion takes a lot of mathematics and if they resolved that the the best thing based on the weight uh the adjustable nature of it the best closure was velcro Obviously it makes sense for people to say there could have been other closures or let's explore other closures But it, the assumption that like this could have just been different I think it just comes back to people's like disregard for an ability to see value in the process of making clothes If they were at the Armani exhibit like wow the stitching Wow the draping wow the cutting the pattern making the tailoring that would be like a different society that we would have where people would see value in things being constructed with velcro because maybe that is the only option because that is how fashion design works but because people i think want things to look a certain way and to be artful without realizing like that sometimes isn't possible in fashion because of fashion design techniques it kind of like uh i think limits the conversation to um expectations that are maybe not reflective of reality I also see value in invention, especially when it comes to thinking about different forms of closures and finishing and fashion design. And I think that imagination and creation are really important. But I also think um, if people are arguing that something isn't functional and then arguing that it should be done a different way that also isn't functional, <laughs> um, my only issue is that it collapses their argument on itself. I think it would be cool if people could think of different ways for us to design and finish clothes and close clothes um, in general. It says paying attention to designers thinking and work processes that realize it, clothes are not just sentimental visuals, but the presence and experience of a spectator as a condition for concrete change in recognizing clothes. Performance expression style mixes time and space, changing clothes according to time and external influence, which is kind of what I was talking about before. I feel like that's it. I don't really want to talk about this much more, <laughs> to be honest. Obviously, like my opinion is like like I said earlier, I don't have the expectation, which I know might be surprising to people as the eco-feminism save the earth girly, but I don't really have the expectation that all clothes are functional in that way, especially clothes that are 
luxury, non-necessities. There's no monopoly on mini skirts. There is no necessity. Like there's no context where someone is like, either I have this thousand dollar leather mini skirt or I have nothing to wear. Um, I don't really mind or care. Obviously I have complex feelings about luxury in general and inaccessible clothes in general and things like that and elite status and hierarchies. But m my priority in life is not to focus on or pretend or believe that this is like the same impact as uh, mass produced fast fashion with 52 seasons per year and that impact on society like I do not imagine thousand dollar belt skirts that are made of leather in a landfill uh, no matter the <laughs> lack of functionality you know that they have these are things that will continue to be used or owned or hoarded or whatever like they will be owned by people and they you know will have cultural impact 10 years from now 20 years now especially especially with these news articles and the, the drama that it's has ensued over them and I, I don't really worry about them or see them as like these massive negative impacts on the environment any more than I do any other art installation or even like dramatic garments that are produced like I don't see Comme de Gasson lumps and bumps pieces or other like really obstructive gigantic clothing um, or the Met Gala clothing or general clothing that's worn to galas or haute couture pieces like I don't see those as like massive strains on the environment as far as production um, <clears throat> as opposed to um you know, all the rest of the ready to, to wear collections and like regular baby t-shirts that I know are not getting bought and then are being sent to consignment stores and not purchased and then sent to God knows where. You know what I mean? Like those are more my concern, but that's just my personal perspective. Uh, like I said um, in the last video, uh, suggestions, not a manifesto. It is okay for people to be completely repelled by this style of clothing in general or the, the impact of this clothing. I don't have any desire to tell people they should change how they feel I just wanted to say um, and also share some like cool art uh, thing I read I love it I'm gonna link it it's it's I forgot to say it's also in Korean so definitely translate it before you uh, finish reading it but um or like start reading it but yeah I really liked it I hope that that made sense um, let me know if I should make one and that's pretty much it I don't know I don't really have anything else to say <laughs>